a long time ago, they announced that they were doing a Madam Web movie, to which most of us said, like Jaimon Hansu in Guardians of the Galaxy, who? <laughs> or even why? Why are you doing a Madam Web? I mean, it's it's literally a third or fourth level side character here and there in the comics and whatnot, but a lot of said who. Now, I admit that when we started hearing whispers about a year ago, that it was going to kind of have a bit of a Terminator theme to it uh, about time travel, somebody trying to stop what somebody's going to become and all that kind of stuff. And they, they released some of the first production pictures. I kind of went, you know what? That, that could be interesting. That could be interesting. So finally today with the movie coming out, in, I believe in February, they dropped the first trailer. I have a couple of thoughts about it. First, in general, I liked it. I, don't get me wrong. It's not making me jump up and down and go, oh my God, this is the greatest. Story. <laughs> I in general liked it because it kind of did confirm those reports that we had heard last year that there was going to kind of have a Terminator theme to it and all that kind of stuff. And it, it definitely had that kind of a feel. And this whole, the whole idea of the motif is not a brand new thing. We've seen it done before, but this motif of somebody, somebody being able to go back and try something again uh, and then embracing, you know, destiny. I love that you got Adam Scott in there because I love him. I really do like Dakota Johnson. I, I think she's quite a good actress, even though she hasn't always been in the best stuff. So I like her a lot. So overall, I enjoyed it. I, I thought it was good. But there's something that concerns me. And it's it's only a momentary thing. But it concerns me like, if you as a studio, and I get it, they probably got a third-party marketing company to make the trailer. I get that. But you got to view it and kind of approve it. And if you as a studio couldn't tell that he was with my mother when she was in the Amazon studying spiders. You didn't buy that? I, By the way, I just said it with more passion and drama than it is in the trailer. I'm like, if you... You are a studio and you're watching that trailer and you don't recognize that. Wow, that sounded bad. And that sounded like a class project of making a short film with the new class video camera. Well, that, I mean, he was hunting lions and he got bit by a giant lion. Yeah. Now he is craven. <laughs> but I mean, like the 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 woodenness, <laughs> the woodenness of the sound of the dialogue. And not in all of it. Some of it sounded perfectly fine. But but there's a good chunk of this trailer that the dialogue and the narration sounded just pure wooden to me. And I'm like, if that's what you're putting forward as your best representation to sell people on the movie, it makes me a little bit nervous. <laughs> and maybe I'm being nervous for nothing. Maybe it'll be perfectly fine once it plays out in the context of the movie. I understand that and I accept that. In general, I liked what I saw. Um, has it made me super more excited for the movie? No, but it kind of reaffirmed that interest that I had understanding it sounding like what the themes are going to be. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Quip. Guys, you know that good health starts with good habits and Quip makes it easy by delivering all the oral care essentials that you need to care for your mouth. For example, their incredible electric toothbrush. Guys, I've been using electric toothbrushes for years and this is easily the best one I've ever owned. Time sonic vibrations with 30 second pulses to guide a dentist recommended two minute clean. A lightweight and sleek design for adults and kids with no wires or bulky charger to weigh you down. Reusable handles in a range of sleek metal hues as well as bright plastic colors sure to make a pop on your bathroom counter. Skip the bathroom batteries and snap into healthy habits with the new rechargeable electric toothbrush. All the features of the original Quip plus one magnetic charge powers up to three months of brushing. In addition to brush heads, Quip also delivers fresh floss, toothpaste, mouthwash, and gum refills every three months from just $7. So if you go to getquip.com slash campia right now, you'll get 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, or water flosser. That's your 20% off any electric toothbrush, mint and gum dispenser, water flosser at getquip.com slash campia that's g-e-t-q-u-i-p dot com slash campia quip the good habits company anyway rob you had a chance finally to watch the trailer um and we didn't talk about this beforehand but no. what did what did you think about the trailer pros and cons well you know i mean obviously i will retire the joke about there's a madam web movie what it's there's a, a madam web 
No more. Um, that, that joke is, <laughs> if there's such a thing as a, a played out joke, that is the, that is the one played out 18 joke. 18 months in the, show. in the making. But I think, that, <laughs> I was actually intrigued by this because, you know, when we heard what the movie was actually about, uh, I was like, I'm intrigued. That sounds interesting. The time travel element. They're bringing in different elements of the Madam Web character from the comics, which I think is intriguing. Like you, I'm wondering why do this movie? I still don't think they did a... I, I thought this trailer was confusing from the standpoint of, is this a Spider-Man movie? It's called Madam Web, but how is this going to be? It's really weird that, that Sony is making these Craven, Venom, now Madam Web, these Spider-Verse movies, but they don't do it. I mean, it looks like... Spider-Man's in this movie, at least the Iron Spider. I mean, the people that know the comics know that that's not the case. But other than that, John, I'm intrigued. I, I really like you, like Dakota Johnson a great deal since I saw her uh, in, in the social network when she was in the one scene with Justin Timberlake. I find her very appealing both when she appears on talk shows and uh, on the movie screen. And I thought this movie, the trailer at least, looked good in the sense that it made me want, it did what a trailer did. For a movie I thought did not exist and couldn't remember it existed, now I'll not forget it. Can I'm I, interested, can I, I wanna just, see it. Can I just say though that, and it sounds it sounds really nitpicky and it is, but, and I don't know if this is the right term, I'm gonna try to sound smart here, but it's almost a Pavlovian response for me. There's a color palette that Sony mm. uses in this Spider-Verse, right? Yeah. Of whether it be Craven, whether it be Morbius, um, it wasn't so much in Venom, and I think that's why maybe Venom kind of worked more for me. But and now with Madam Web, that when I see this color palette, I just get this like response of I don't think I'm gonna like this. Mm, this looks cheesy really to me. This looks cheesy to me. I I know what you mean, and I think you're not wrong. Because you know what? It's more of a is it would you consider it more of a comic booky? color yeah, palette yeah, as it, opposed it, to taking place in the real world yeah exactly it's almost a little too saturated yes and and it feels like oh is this made for tv or something so like okay we were just kind of like um ray and i were were comparing that with uh captain marvel because at the beginning of captain marvel trailer she says like i've been getting these visions or whatever <laughs> and we we're kind of making fun of the similarities but i was like but look even in captain marvel this looks cinematic and the color palette looks more believable and this, it, it just has this weird fake, gets this weird response from me. More like TV. Mm hmm Yep. So what, if you had to give a list of things that were like pros or cons of it, like what would you say are some pros, things that worked for you in the trailer, some things that didn't? Well, I think pro, the idea of what's happening to her specifically is interesting. The idea that, you know, once again, you've got this gaggle of, of characters that are all intertwined. We all live in the same apartment building. I'm like, okay, that seemed, that could be intriguing within the story itself. Or at least two of the characters do. Yeah, at least two of the characters. But in the trailer, I'm like, it's, like you were saying, it seems a little convoluted and a little, like I, I'm intrigued by her story, getting unstuck in time, like uh, Happy Death Day, and somebody have to re repeat, that storyline repeating and having fate and understanding you can go, that's interesting to me. But there was definitely a lot going on in this trailer that I thought con was confusing overall. I still don't know. I want to see it, but I'm like, what is this movie about? Well, again, it is just the first trailer, right? right. Like, you know me. I want trailers to give us an idea about what is this movie, but I'm okay if the first trailer is not the one to do it. Yeah, no, like, it's, give us it's a little true. bit of a taste. I and... mean, I mean, it, it 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 looks like they spend money on it. It looks really intriguing to me, but again, I don't know. I'm not convinced it's going to be a good movie. Yeah, well, I mean, here's one of the interesting things. A lot of people think forget that Adam Scott, of course, from Parks and Rec fame, and now is starring in uh, uh, not Sedition. What's uh, um, the, you Apple know, the Apple Plus show. Severance. Severance, Severance right. <laughs> Sedition. Severance. <laughs> um, he's playing Ben Parker is his character. Yeah. Is Ben Parker. And uh, Emma Roberts is playing Mary Parker. So like that's where when we heard about the Terminator angle and then we found out who those, the characters that they were playing, we, we, uh, we're left to wonder, is this about somebody trying to stop the birth of spider-man or like again going very much to the whole terminator motif so i don't know we'll see thematically the trailer works for me yeah execution i have some concerns with how wooden some of the dialogue sounded so is this going to be the next morbius or is this going to be the next venom i i don't know so hopefully it's going to be more like the next venom but i'm you know what i'm excited to see it 
uh, as of right now, I'm I'm looking forward to it. So we'll see how we feel after we see trailers two and trailers three, if we still feel that way. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.